Look, admire, and play. Found out why this installment is for more than just the eyes to enjoy. Plus, a park in progress picks up some major funding for a nature play area. And, do you know how the LEAF vacuum program works? I'll break it down in just a few minutes. We have these stories and more coming right up on Iowa City Update. There is a new sculpture on display at the Mercer Park lobby and it's designed for more than just looking at. This whimsical display is actually a STEAM project which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art and Mathematics. It's interactive so you can move things and they go up and down and they fly. Local watercolor artist Joe Myers Walker was awarded funds for the project after submitting the idea for a different grant project. The city loved the interactive idea so much that they asked her to adapt the concept to fit the Mercer lobby. We were able to catch some of the installation. Joe worked with kids, engineers, and other artists to develop this unique piece of art. I collaborated with the Iowa City community and Nexus Engineering at the University of Iowa to explore the STEAM concepts that we art and engineering together. This display celebrates some of Iowa City's most iconic features. Come down to Mercer to check it out yourself. A new park that is slated to open next year just got a huge boost. The Riverfront Crossings Park has been selected to receive a $157,000 grant from the Land and Water Conservation Fund. The money is for a new nature play area which runs right along Ralston Creek. We've heard from our public that they want nature to be central to their outdoor recreation experience. They want kids to be able to play in the creeks. They want them to develop outdoor recreation skills. So everything about this park promotes access, touching nature, getting up close and personal with the river, the creek, having opportunities outside. Opening in 2018, the playground will also include swings, slides, a zip line, and several trail connections. Future phases will also include park shelters, restrooms, boat access to the Iowa River, and a large green space that can be used for community events. Check out all the project details at icgov.org slash parks rec master plan. Iowa City's LEAF Vacuum Program is kicking into action this week and we want to make sure you know when crews will be in your neck of the woods. The program allows residents to rake leaves into piles within five feet of the curb for pickup, rather than having to bag them. You should have your leaves at the curb by 7 a.m. on the day your zone is scheduled. The crews will begin the cleanup on Monday, October 16th in zones five and six. From there, the streets division will follow the map in numerical order as each zone is completed. This is the schedule for the first week, but this is subject to change depending on the speed of the crews, weather, and equipment issues. The full map and schedule are now available for public viewing at icgov.org slash vacuum. A guaranteed way to keep updated on the schedule is to sign up for our mailing service by heading over to icgov.org slash e-subscriptions. That way, you get up-to-the-minute updates to any possible changes. The city is holding a public meeting in order to prepare for the Pedestrian Mall Improvements Project. These improvements are part of the larger downtown and pedestrian mall streetscape plan, which will enhance accessibility, infrastructure, and the atmosphere of the area. Some of the proposed upgrades include lighting, planning, and accents that will celebrate what makes Iowa City so unique. The public open house will take place from 5.30 to 7.30 on Thursday evening, October 26, at the Sheraton Hotel. A presentation will begin at 5.30 p.m. To learn more about the project and see renderings of it, visit icgov.org slash downtownstreetscape. That's it for this week. We encourage you to keep up to speed by following our social media sites. There, you can find information about city services, events, and other topics that impact our great community. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you next time on Iowa City Update.